G'day all. Here's a, a lamp that I made a few days ago. It's uh, just... G'day all. It's uh, daytime here in Australia. I'm outside and there's a lot of birds carrying on. So all that background noise is birds. So I hope you can hear me over the noise they're making. But anyway, I bought this PMR generator about six or seven years ago from a friend in America. It's just been an orphan. I really haven't ever done anything with it. And the other day I thought to myself, I'll do, finally do something with it. So I made this lamp out of uh, some bits and bobs that I had in the shed. Uh, this was off a, 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 some old bathroom ware. Oh, birds, birds, birds. And uh, not sure what this was from, but I soldered this together, drilled it through, put some copper pipe on here, uh, turned this out of some aluminium on the lathe, and this is a, a copper reducer fitting. Painted the inside white, and I managed to get four LED bulbs in there into that lampshade, which I, I think turned out pretty good. Look, it looks very nice. Put it on the wooden plinth and then made a, another wooden plinth and uh, raised the PMR Jenny. Something else that I do to a lot of my models, I made these four flip out legs. I'll just flip out two, usually two is enough. So they flip out and I've got these uh, fur pins that um, a friend of mine, Nick, in Minnesota in the US sent to me. And I modified these and put a, a longer brass extension on them, but put those through the drilled holes in the extended out legs. And that holds that perfectly still, which is, it, it's nearly always a problem when you're running accessories off a steam engine or a, um, a gas engine or a Stirling engine, any type of small model engine, when you're running um, an accessory, you'll find that the belt puts a, a, a pull on the accessory and you'll get it and it'll be always rocking around. I can't move in that, that's, that's that solid. So they just pull out and uh, those feet just fold in like such. I've always found that's a, a pretty elegant system to use. But really happy with the way this turned out, polished it all up, sprayed it with a aerosol varnish so that should stop it tarnishing and uh, it should stay like this for many years. But as always, enough talking, let's uh, take it inside, hook it up to a steam engine and see if we can get some light from it. I haven't lit it, I, I haven't connected it up, I haven't been able to spin this and I can see that the four LED lights flash a little bit. But uh, we'll see how we go. I did also, I hobbed that um, little drive pulley. So it gets the, um, I did that on the lathe with a, a tap. The process that I've been using that's been working really well for me. So I have hobbed that out. And uh, hopefully that's going to... Uh, put a really good grip on the pulley that's going to be driven off the steam engine. But as I said, let's go and see how it works. Okay, inside, into the steam room. I've got it hooked up to the big Polish school steam engine. That's one heavy beast, that one is. It's beautiful. Uh, I thought I'd try it because it's got the big flywheel. Uh, I'm going to run it off some green belting and I've got the what I was saying outside I've got the, the wooden feet spread out and I've got the two fur pins in there and I'm gonna not running this off a boiler because I haven't uh, tested it before just for ease I'm gonna run the big polish boiler off air so without further ado and as I said before I this is the First time I'll be running that uh, lamp off a generator. So 
let's fingers crossed that uh, all that work in the shed over the last couple of days pays off and those bulbs light. So here we go. I'm going to turn the air on now. I'll just get that around about there. That should auto start now. Oh, got light. I'll just turn this lamp off. Oh, that's not bad. Just turn the... You see, I'll turn the air down a bit. It's still lighting pretty good. Might be flickering just a little bit. Just well, I'm pretty happy with that. Turn it around. Yeah, I am. That's a fair bit of light. I'm really, I'm bloody impressed with that. I'll just turn the light back on. There's the holy chamber doing its thing. Wow. Okay. Just going to turn the light back on. No flickering on the camera that I can see. That's a nice bright light. Just after lunchtime here, so it's it's the room is a little bit dark. There's no curtains to pull in here. It could be darker. So I really am impressed with that light coming off there. I'll just turn the air off a little bit and see what it does. No, it's still pretty good. I'll turn it down a little bit more. It's starting to dim now. You can see a little bit of flickering on the camera. A little bit more. No, that's too slow. A little bit more air. Yeah, a little bit of flickering there, a little bit more. Alright, that's about the slowest that will go without flickering. Just give that a little bit more. You might be able to see a little bit of smoke coming up there, that's generator is sparking a little tiny bit. I know there's a little bit of oil in there on the armature. And you see that smoke coming up there at the back? Let's see if I can get a close-up of that. Let's just zoom in on there. You can see those sparks coming up there. You just see in here there's some sparks. Now my electrical knowledge is severely limited. So I'm sure someone out there, one of my viewers out there in YouTube land, 
we'll be able to um, tell me what's going on there. And I'm going to turn the light back on, so there's going to be another flash. Just turn that air off. Well, there we have it. I'm um, pretty stoked with that. Actually, I'm bloody stoked. Dog can hear me talking in the room, thinks that we've got visitors as usual and running up to the front door to say, who's here? But uh, I hope you enjoyed that. That was fun making that, and uh, really enjoyed that. And I'm, I'll say it again, I'm bloody impressed with that. Okay, as always, thanks for watching, and bye for now.